out of the stun then you have the alistar trample stacked up so you can stun there right after that so that's what they're looking for over on the kaisa showmaker are going to go for zoe here yeah, trying to come in and contest at his own blue quadrant but he will just do full three cam clear so it's going to be that swap of sides on the map rumble will play towards bot side but look at this actually dom one's all going back to protect the blue this oh. is disaster now it's going to be a full three quadrants because the bot lane oh. had push on can come down canyon can wait on the other side as long as con wins the 1v1 you don't actually need to go over the wall here as canyon so flash force now canyon can come yeah pabu already flashing walking back towards his own top laner canyon's here with a follow-up bio oh, pants trying to run away First blood over to Canyon, and they're about to make it to Bear Slap into bringing down the hammer, and Khan picks it up. Oh. These champions where movement speed means so much, like Udyr, and so Canyon will be all over the map, picking up the first Drake here, six and a half minutes in for Dom Juan. Yep, I think it makes a lot of sense here as the early purchase, not feeling overly pressured to go for the tabbies or anything like that. So just grabbing Lucidity, grab that early bit of move speed, and you can see he's about 800 gold ahead here. Uh, Chaz, Chaz getting pushed in. They're looking for a re-engage bot side. Okay, the 2v2 is going all the way. Decoy taking a lot of damage here with a very front line, having to flash away. Stays alive. Ignite won't kill him. Outplay maybe from Praetith, but no. They're stacking up the plasma. They're going to be taking him down too. Dredge line comes out. Praetith goes down. Ah, Praetith traps right. like this, and we'll see if they can pick off Khan. Okay, Khan trying to disengage on this one. Meanwhile, back in the bottom lane, it's Praetith dropping again. Ghost getting but, the kill. Oh, Pabu boy. is here. They have Mega and they have Equalizer, so you gotta pray. Yeah, they're just deciding to go for the 2v2. Ain't no turret to protect oh, him any longer. Showmaker has decided it's his turn to join the fight now as well, with Khan going in for the damage. Bio Panther falling over, and Showmaker grabbing bonus that. max yeah. health damage. He gets that shield, which is so effective at, present, at preventing those little bits of turret damage. That one turret shot that you would get for that, completely nullified by the shield. Yeah, I mean, you see Nar get chunked to what? 40, 50 lane as well here by Ghost. Uh, this is really, really tough. I mean, Don't want to play this out. 14 incredible. minutes into the game. I liked your haircut better before. Uh, no. Well, that just means you don't like my haircut. I'm going to pretend. No, your, your haircut it. now is great. But your haircut before was majestic. Like they've already got four under their belt. Both the Tier 1 and Tier 2 in that top lane have fallen. Remember, and now it's time to apply the pressure uh -oh. elsewhere. Bio Panther mid-hop getting knocked away with a hammer. Flashes out. For PGG to hang on. And we'll see how long they can. I mean, if, if they get another kill here and Canyon drops Herald, I mean, they could just honestly maybe end the game right with that. But it just feels like Dom One don't want to take any risks. As much as they are so far ahead and this game is pretty well decided, it's really important for Dom One to pick up the wins here, too. Right? Oh, boy. You know, they're looking uh, okay. to secure their spot. Well, we already got the fight with Pabu being taken down to about 10% HP. Canyon grabbing the kill back on him. Barrels over the wall, staying safe there with a flash, but Khan on the flank. His guarantee and everybody from Pentanets being sent home with a black and white monitor. Look at that four for nothing for Dom Juan Kia. Nicely done, Dom Juan. They're going to get the ace as well. It will be delayed. It's going to take a while. <laughs> He's going to have to chase after him. Oh, these stupid blast cones. It's it's kind of cruel almost. You know, Canyon just doesn't even care about ending the game. Like, he's just farming out the Raptors. Yeah, he has more money than Pabu. 42.59 versus 45.29. Yeah, Pabu is about... Okay. All right, we got Dom Juan sieging up outside the inhibitor turret of the bottom lane. Still one and a half minutes before Baron is even allowed answer. to spawn. <laughs> Nobody's able to answer this from Pentanet. They're just trying to stick around. Bio Panther goes in for the big Mega Gnar, but it won't matter too much just okay. yet. Pentanet, they're on the board, baby. Chaz got the first one. One for one here in the bottom lane. Nicely done. They still have the Rift Herald. Canyon will drop it, likely, I, I would think. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was the classic Zoe experience right there. You had a health bar, then you didn't. See you later. Dom one. They're going to pick up their first Whoa, inhibitor turret here for the end. Lane now. I believe they might they be saving see the dance. that Rift Herald for the end of the game right here, going after the Nexus turrets. There are three players dead on the side of Pentanet, and Dom Juan are pushing towards that Nexus. Shelly will find the first Nexus turret. Second one's going to be the target now, but we will not see the Rift Herald charge yet again. The remaining turret's about to fall. Nexus now exposed. I gave you 21 minutes to sail. <laughs> they didn't even need 20. Dom Juan in 19 minutes and 30 seconds looking to take down the Nexus. Patting the stats a little bit more first. Plus 50 gold over to Ghost and Dom Juan Kia win their game easily.